Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 10 network computers are not showing up in File Explorer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match to go back with Control Panel. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons, and now you want to locate the network and sharing center options. Go ahead and left click on that. Select change advanced sharing settings on the left side, and then you want to turn on both network discovery and file and printer sharing options underneath guest or public settings, and then select the save changes button. So again, very straightforward, and now close out of here. Another thing would be to open up the start menu, type in services, best match to go back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to locate two services. The first is going to be the function discovery provider host. So just look for that and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic delayed start. And then select the start option if service status is stopped and then select apply and OK. Do the same thing for the function discovery resource publication, which should be right underneath of that. And then select the same thing. You can do automatic or automatic delayed start for both of these services. I just selected automatic delayed start. It shouldn't really make that big of a difference, to be honest. So we're going to select apply and OK. Once you're done with that, you can close out of here. Hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. And one further thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in Windows Features. Best match to go back with turn Windows Features on or off, or it should be one of the top results here. So go ahead and open that up. You want to scroll down until you find the SMB 1.0 section and click the little plus sign next to it. You want to make sure the SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file sharing support is checkmarked in here as well as all the options underneath of it so you can see SMB 1.0 slash CIFS server is not checkmarked. We're going to checkmark it here just to be safe and then select OK. Again, might look a little different in your case, just make sure they're all checkmarked under that expansion there. Just make sure they're all checkmarked when you expanded. And anyway, Windows completed the requested changes, select close, restart your computer now and hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. I do notice that blast method I showed usually can actually fix the problem too. That seems to be another popular issue. So I showed all of the methods that I would suggest in this tutorial. So the last one I would definitely recommend taking a look at. So pretty straightforward process there guys. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.